So representing Romania here on this ninth fight of this evening's entertainment fighting style. Simeonesca Dragos, the Romanian fighter. And his opponent, opponent representing Moldova, Curtis Victor. Back to KOK rules. World Series fight, 88 kilograms, three minutes, three rounds. Extra round if it goes to a draw, which we've already seen tonight. It's happened twice. So just to mention, ladies and gentlemen, before the end of this year, write this down for next year. 2014 World Series, 10 shows. Six weight divisions. Two will kick the year off, 2014 in March. March the 15th will be Lithuania and Vilnius with a minus 71 kilograms, World Series, King of Kings. And then just one week later, on the 22nd of March, minus 85 kilograms in Moldova, right here where we are now, this fabulous stadium, the Manage Sports and Athletics Arena here in the Republic of Moldova. Chisnia, great venue, great crowd, great promotions. respect and credit to Mr. Donatos Simonatus, president and founder of King of Kings and the president of FEA Fighting and Entertainment Association, Doreen Damia. Mixed martial arts MMA fight, don't blink. Could be over very quickly with a tap out or a knockout. Sorry, I do apologize. I've just mentioned MMA. This is kickboxing rules. Sorry. Let's do this again. Curtis. Curtis Victor. Okay, okay, World Series fight, 88 kilograms. Three by three minute rounds. 
Blue corner. Simonescu, Dragos, Romania. Curtis Victor, Moldova. Curtis tipping the scales at 85 kilograms. And Simonescu, 88. There's a three kilo advantage. Can he put it to good use? Oh, Curtis Victor just taking a little bit of a strike to the groin. Back on. Considering that Curtis is the lighter fighter, he looks the heavier and he's certainly more taller. Three centimetre height advantage, he looks a little bit more than that. Oh, nice one two combination followed with the knee. Smaller, stockier Romanian. Moving forward, but taking shots as he comes in. Nice body kick there from Curtis. Seminescu there, just covering up. The referee telling him to fight. Because at the moment he's just doing defence. There's not much offence or attacking coming from the Romanian. Everything seems to be coming one-sided from the Moldovan. Curtis Victor. Ooh, nice. Big heavy hands coming in there from the Moldovan. He senses blood, he senses the kill and going for it. He rocked the Romanian. Oh, upstairs with a high kick. One, two high kicks going. Nice corkscrew uppercut, double, triple, quadruple. Well, the Romanian has just seemed to be content to covering up and just doing the odd counter, but he's coming forward and not doing anything. He needs to fire back. Good knee and straight punches coming from Curtis. He's having it his own way. Right hand over the top. Now, unless Simonescu Dragos has got something that we don't know up his sleeve, or in his gloves, but at the moment, nothing is coming away from the blue corner. The Romanian just seems to be content to take shots and just throw the odd one back, just like a jab there, but it's not gonna be enough. Curtis Victor there, completely. Victor by, by name and probably Victor by nature. That's what it looks like to me in this King of Kings World Series fight. Now we see a nice corkscrew uppercut. Big right hand, knee goes in, jab, right hand, corkscrew uppercut, one, two, in they go. Bam, 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 bam! One, two, three, four, uppercuts galore! This is what we like to see, King of Kings style -y. I'm loving King of Kings. I'll tell you what, our promoters, Mr. Donatas Simonitis, came over to me just before, he said, what do you think, Sandy? I said, you know what, again, outstanding top class show and matchmaking. Moldova hasn't had its own way tonight. Oh, one back in the spuds. One down below, and off you go. You've got two things you can do in this one. One, you can rub them, which is what he's doing. Or number two, you can count them. Have you still got two? Or have they fallen down to your shoe? Because you're guaranteed tomorrow they'll turn blue. Ding dang do. Everything rhymes with Sandy McThrapper. I am the lyrical rapper from Sonny Bolton by the sea. I'm not going to say it, but you know what I'm going to say. Not much sand and a lot less sea. <laughs> anyway, enough of my Sandy rapping. Let's get on with the action here in the ring. Back on. Coconuts are back in the groin box. 
Oh, he's got another one in the nuts. The referee's going to maybe take a point off for that. Needs a warning. Yeah. <laughs> well, he looks at me to say, what? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I don't know why you're looking at me. I'm not the referee. Sorry, mate. You don't need to do that, you know, just because you're winning this fight, hands down. Actually, he didn't intend that. I think it was just one of those. He threw the kick and it landed. So, Victor. Curtis Victor winning this fight to me, hands down. <laughs> well, there you go, mate. You got one back. It's two each downstairs. Who's got the bigger nuts? Who's got the tougher coconuts? I suppose that's a bit of, uh, what do they call it, karma. A bit ironic as well, isn't it? Somebody gets it, he goes down, and then he gets one back. I suppose, and he didn't complain, in fairness, so fair play. Anyway, guys, come on, let's keep them up. Let's get them above the waist, unless you're kicking low kicks. Let's keep it clean. Well, the Romanian weathered the storm of the first round. He is firing a few things back in this second, but to me, he lost heavily in that first round. Oh, there we go. The up. I love that corkscrew uppercut. Beautiful. Front kick goes in. Oh, jumping half, shin half, knee. Showing his dexterity there, Curtis Victor. Displaying his dexterity. His flamboyancy and his skills in the ring. There's that, I love that corkscrew right uppercut he throws. Followed with a jab after it. Very good, look at that. And I'll tell you what, the Romanian has got a chin because he's took quite a few of those in this fight so far. Half a minute remaining in this second round. Long, straight punches coming there from Curtis Victor. Front kick pushes the Romanian back. But the Romanian is still there in his face. He is not going away. Knee goes in, the hammer goes for the 10 seconds, countdown. Referee telling him to come back together. Jab right hook coming from Curtis Victor. But Simonescu Dragos still stays in the fight. On well, the line club Muay Thai cornerman. And in the corner there, the fighter from before. Matty Vitali in the corner. Lion Muay Thai fighter. Encouraging the fighter on. So here we go, third and final round. Ooh, nice body shot followed with the knee. The onslaught continues. Curtis Victor from Moldova. Oh, and down he goes. And the referee didn't count it as a knockdown. Oh, beautiful left eye kick. Fast and furious. One, two straight, flies in. But Simonescu Dragos is still there. 
And I bet Curtis Victor's thinking, what have I got to do to put this guy away? He's certainly made of Romanian iron. Putting everything into it. Well, the Romanian still forges forwards. Oh, nice combination again. One, two in the kick. Moves around the ring. Picking his shots well. Very accurate, the Moldovan fighter. I like the way he attacks, but Simon Eskin Dragos is pretty easy to hit. It's got to be said, and I say that respectfully, but he's certainly tough. Never seen a fighter take that much and just keep coming and not showing any sign of the hits too. He's only got little bits of markings on him considering how many hits that he has taken. Because Curtis Victor, has, like I said, he's picked his shots well. Look at that, he's aiming them really well. He's using his height and reach. We've seen a little bit of claret blood coming from the nose of the Romanian, but it's took nearly three rounds to do that. And again, the combinations rain down on the Romanian. Curtis fighting very intelligently, picking those shots, but the Romanian just shakes his head. Oh, that caught screw up a cut, followed with the jab. I like how he throws that. It's quite unorthodox. A lot of people will throw a jab and then the uppercut, but he throws it in reverse and it works. I like how Curtis does that. The knee goes in, right hand. The Romanian there with blood coming down from the nose, but it's not stopping him. Keeps going forward. The hammer goes for the 10 seconds. And again, the one-two combination goes in. The high kick goes on the bell. Well, it's a foregone conclusion who's won that. You'd either have to be sat facing the wrong way, or the judges need to go to spec savers if they don't get that right. And I believe the judges have done a grand job tonight. There's only one fight that I didn't agree with, but the rest I think they got right, definitely. But that's why they've got three judges at ringside, not just an, uh, a commentator. I'm not actually only doing an unofficial scoring card. My job is to commentate, say what I see, and they do what they do. Well, I think it's going to be an easy one to call. When we get my friend in there, right is Kuzmenka. Shouldn't have a problem announcing this one. Unanimous, not questionable, but I tell you what, I will take my, I can't take the hat off, as I haven't got one, but I'll take my coloured spikes, my mad hair come from Molnov, to the Romanian for being one of the toughest cookies ever, as he took all those shots, I'll tell you what, fair play to him. But it's the winner. Curtis, the victorious victor, wins that on unanimous three rounds, win to Moldova.